Hello, here is a brief introduction to the cinematic gameplay tool which gives you a nice looking for your game camera movement quickly and easy to use, easy to set up, uh, easy to set up and no, no scripting for it. So here I start by importing the package here. It's, it's all, is it everything in the package? It's a very small package so I import everything and once it's done I go to window cinematic gameplay and here is a fancy window which have pretty much everything you need to set up some cinematic and cool effects for your camera. So first thing first to, to know if your camera like this game, this game have have a camera follow script to, to for the camera to follow the, the player. So in that case you need to, to make sure that you need to make sure that this script is not attached to the camera. So the camera should be a child for a game object that has this script. So let's start by making an empty game object and let's put it in zero. Reset everything. It's very important to reset everything. And put the camera parented uh, to this parent. And let's remove the component from here. Put the component in that parent. So in that case, the parent would be what is following the player. So and the same effect still here. So we, we never lose anything. So second thing, uh, we need a trigger to trigger the animation for the camera. So if you don't, ha if you have already made a trigger or set up a trigger, you can just drag and drop the trigger here into this red area. But if you don't have, you can insert a cinematic trigger, and it will be auto attached here. So I will scale this. Oh, sorry. I will scale this cinematic trigger, and let's make it big to be able to see it. And let's rotate and put it near to this object so I can see it. So basically, it will take effect once I come here. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay. Second thing we need to prepare the camera so when, when, when we select the camera here as you can see it have just those almost standard stuff so when we prepare the camera it adds a call script it adds the animation script and adds the motor script and last thing is to set the chords for the camera in this trigger so as you can see this trigger have lots of stuff we can discuss this later but for now we need to set a start point for the camera and end point for the camera so we, I, I think the camera here is fine, this camera position is fine, but if, if you need to change it doesn't make any difference because the camera will always be moving from the current position. So we can select the camera, command shift F to set the camera to the current scene view. After that we can set camera default chords. Second thing we need to the end point, let's say when the player hits this trigger the camera would be sort of a third person shooter game maybe so let's come here command shift f we set the camera we say pick chords and paste chords to the trigger now i can reset camera to default to have the default camera last thing before we run the game because if you run now we'll have error we need to put to mention what is the object that will be triggering this animation so we select the cinematic trigger and say activation entity which is nothing right now we select the player and put the player here so now if i start playing when i hit the trigger the camera moves to this view and when i go back the camera goes back again we can change this of course we can select from here for example the trigger itself and say the trigger can exit to normal can exit to normal means it works when when the player enter and exit but now cannot exit to normal means if the player enters the trigger and exit again it still has the same thing also you can have so many cameras in your scene as much as you wish so let's insert another trigger or duplicate this one it's back to you i prefer to duplicate this trigger let's put it here to be able to see and let's say this trigger near to the car and let's say when i come to the car while the trigger is selected of course I just need to drag and drop it here to be the one I'm working with I need to say okay once I hit the car let's give me this beautiful view let's come here select the camera command shift F 
Mm, no, not this view. Okay, let's come here and let's select the camera. Command Shift F. Yeah, this is a view I want. So when you are okay, pick the camera, paste the camera cords. And now if I hit play. Oh, sorry. I need to reset the camera before I play. And again, when I exit. Yeah, of course, I didn't set this. So I can select here and can exit to normal. So, here. The amazing thing is, uh, now that I exit, it exits to normal. But the amazing thing is, if this one is not exit to normal and the camera now in this far away position, if I move to the second trigger, this one here, the camera blends smoothly to this position. Last thing is, here is this a preview window, which is amazing. It, it gives you the opportunity to see, to, to fake the triggering process and preview for you what you're going to see. So from this position, and I'm already selecting this trigger, so it says, okay, the camera would be so far, this, like this. But if I see the other trigger, which, which is this one, and I hit play, it says, okay, the camera would be that far. Last thing before exiting, so you can do whatever test you want within a few seconds and have amazing gameplay duration. And you can, for example, sit from here, this blend time to 5 seconds, so when you hit play, it takes 5 seconds to blend. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, it takes 5 seconds to blend. When you hit, let's say, this one, with 1 second, it will be super quick like this when you hit okay let's say 10 seconds take 10 seconds to blend which is very slow so you can do lots of things lots of stuff so have as much as you want from those triggers you can also enable all the cinematic triggers and the scene you know, or del delete all the cinematic triggers at once or disable all the cinematic triggers if you want to keep them you can keep all of them and disable them you can do lots of things thank you I'm looking forward to see what you're going to make with this tool. See ya.